Automatic Terminal Information Service, or ATIS, is a continuous broadcast of recorded non-control aeronautical information in busier terminal areas. ATIS broadcasts contain essential information, such as weather information, which runways are active, available approaches, and any other information required by the pilots, such as important NOTAMs. Pilots usually listen to an available ATIS broadcast before contacting the local control unit, in order to reduce the controller's workload and relieve frequency congestion. The recording is updated in fixed intervals or when there is a significant change in the information, for example a change in the active runway. It is given a letter designation from the ICAO spelling alphabet. The letter progresses through the alphabet with every update and starts at alpha after a break in service of 12 hours or more. When contacting the local control unit, a pilot will indicate he she has information, where is the ATIS identification letter of the ATIS transmission the pilot received. This allows the ATC controller to verify whether the pilot has all the current information. Sample messages. Equals example 1 equals CMETAR for a more in-depth explanation of aviation weather messages and terminology. Equals example 2 equals on tuning to an ATIS frequency. A pilot might hear, Vancouver International Information Bravo 1355 Zulu weather. Wind 300 at 8, visibility 5. 500 few, 1200 scattered, ceiling 3000 overcast, temperature 15, dew point 8. Altimeter 2987. IFR approaches ILS or visual, runway 26 left and runway 26 right. Simultaneous parallel ILS approaches in use. Departures, runway 26 left. GPS approaches available. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back or hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact that you have Bravo. This translates to, Vancouver International Airport, the information Bravo is issued at 1355 UTC. The winds are from 300 at 8 knots. 5 statute miles visibility. At 500 feet there are few clouds, at 1200 there are scattered clouds, at 3000 feet there is an overcast cloud ceiling. The temperature is 15 a degree Celsius. The dew point is 8 a degree Celsius. The altimeter setting is 29.87 inches of mercury. Visual and simultaneous ILS landings available using instrument flight rules, using runways 26L and 26R, while departures may use runway 26L. You can conduct an approach via a GPS system. When you first contact air traffic control, inform them your direction of flight if you are using visual flight rules. Any hold short instructions the controller gives you need to be read back to the controller to confirm you have received them properly. Finally, inform the controller that you have information Bravo when you first talk to him or her. System Operation The ATIS at an airport is usually given by an automated voice. This allows a busy air traffic controller to quickly type a new ATIS message instead of making a time-consuming voice recording, although at some smaller, less busy airports with a control tower, it may be made by a controller and not a computer. Most airports in a certain country will often have the same ATIS format or layout with the same automated voice. For example, all ATIS information at major airports in the United Kingdom such as Heathrow, Gatwick, Manchester, Birmingham, Edinburgh and even smaller ones, such as East Midlands and Newcastle, have a similar format or layout and are all given by the same automated voice. Shown below are samples of the same ATIS information formatted according to the formats used at two of the UK airports, both of which have the same automated voice as nearly all other UK airports. It shows that some airports give information that others do not even within the same country. Loot and Information Oscar, time 12.50. Runway in use 26. Expect an ILS approach. Surface wind 238 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Scattered 2,800 feet. Temperature plus 18. Dew point plus 10. 
QNH 1016. Threshold QFE 997 hectopascal. Transition level flight level 60. Departing aircraft should make initial contact with Luton ground on 121.750. Acknowledge receipt of information Oscar and advise aircraft type on first contact. Stansted information Oscar, time 12.50. Runway in use 22. Expect an ILS approach. Ground is open. Delivery is closed. Surface wind 238 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Scattered 2,800 feet. Temperature plus 18. Dew point plus 10. QNH 1016. Transition level flight level 60. Acknowledge receipt of information Oscar and advise aircraft type on first contact. As Heathrow and Manchester airports both have two runways and both airports use one for arrivals and the other for departures, they have two ATIS frequencies, one for arrivals and one for departures. Manchester only uses its second runway part-time however both ATIS frequencies still remain active when only one runway is active, both ATIS services will have a recorded message saying single runway operations after it gives the runway in use when this is the case. Technical background, ATIS systems can be classified into solid-state and PC-based. Solid-state ATIS systems are microcontroller-powered devices that incorporate speech synthesis and data processing in a single piece of proprietary equipment, while PC ATIS systems are based on COTS hardware, like normal rack-mounted PCs with multiple high-performance sound cards. Many airports also employ the use of digital ATIS. DATIS is a text based, digitally transmitted version of the ATIS audio broadcast. It is accessed via a data link service such as the ACARS and displayed on an electronic display in the aircraft. DATIS is incorporated on the aircraft as part of its electronic system, such as an EFB or an FMS. DATIS may be incorporated into the core ATIS system, or be realized as a separate system with a data interface between voice ATIS and DATIS. See also, METAR, Air Traffic Control, Automated Airport Weather Station. References External links, Canada ATIS Frequencies, UK ATIS Frequencies, Sydney Australia Live Web-based ATIS, Skycom DATIS, 1, 2.